Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, July, you can hear Jack, um, give me Jack, <laughs> cash in the background. And we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, vice versa as well guys. Oops, there we go. Um, and of course, if this isn't your situation, if I don't pick up on your situation, you can stick around and sometimes, you know, there could be just messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, you use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment. I'm just going to take this in offline, uh, offline, off video, off camera. Um, and also clarify them off camera as well, and I'll be back. Yeah, someone that's been around for a while. Someone that you're thinking about advancing with, I feel like because they're ready to kind of move this forward. Um, and not to say that you don't, you know, on some level with that nine of cups, that there's, there's, a lack of emotional happiness because there is I just feel like with that night there there is this is I mean when we're talking about the night of uh wands we're talking about you know a lot of passion a lot of desire but it's not a stable it's not a committal card so as much as this person on some level contributes to making you emotionally happy I just don't feel like there's been hesitation or a holding back on committing uh, to this person where with your person uh, seeing you as someone that they're definitely in something with, with the three um, I feel like that with the five there's there's conflict there's a bit of drama um, and that's because again this person is kind of ready to make this into more of a committal situation there's definitely acknowledgement of the fact that you add something to them you add something to their world with the sun card there some form of positive element that you do add so they kind of have decided on you like this is my person this Taurus Taurus is my person you know we 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 we, we work well together we fit together with that temperance card there there's a, 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 a how do I put that alignment we're kind of aligned in some way shape or form and I don't want this to end I don't want this to end so I want to come out on top when it comes to this when it comes to Taurus committing to me and us actually building something and moving this this forward which brings us to where we are at the moment. You're showing up as the hermit card. Let me make sure that's not perfect. You're showing up as the hermit card, Taurus, which talks about just being in, in deep contemplation, asking yourself those important questions. Like I said, there's something around you not being fully ready or you not being fully, yeah, ready to and it might even not even be ready it might be something else that's holding you back in terms of moving this forward not to say that it's not on your mind because it is I feel like it's been should I use the word forced upon you yeah I mean it could be forced upon you from this person or when it comes to this person um, but you are definitely thinking about advancing this again it's in your thoughts whether you actually want to do it in its entirety that's a whole other story but you are starting to see things different um, with that, with the will of fortune. So there's answers that are coming to you that are making some form of difference in terms of how you're seeing this or what to do when it comes to this relationship. So there is this feeling of, okay, so this could be an opportunity for us to actually start something, create something um, new. We do have that magician card there on top of that ace. So when we talk about the ace of one, we're talking about an opportunity um, to create something and when we're talking about the magician uh, having all the tools in the box in order for you to make something happen and we have the empress card there yes we've got the justice but we've got the empress card there which talks about the creation of something so you're definitely thinking about it you're definitely feeling the rumblings should I say that he didn't use the word, the word rough rumblings you're definitely feeling yeah you're feeling that ace of wands this feeling of okay uh, this is an opportunity for us to actually create something new. Whether you're actually embracing it with both hands, that's a whole another story. I feel like 
a part of what's going on for you is to do with this person and how much they're ready because they're showing up as the king of wands, which talks about this passion and desire, this drive, this focus. Um, in order for them to, with that emperor card as well, this taking the lead, taking the lead on this relationship. Coming back with, if, if there is communication here in terms of just you expressing how you're feeling or what's going on in terms of them also, they're kind of coming back with, you're saying one thing and they're kind of coming back with counterparts or they're counteracting or uh, rebuttaling what it is that you're saying. Or for, for example, so you could be saying, okay, so what about this? What about this? What about this? And they're saying, well, that can happen. This can happen. And we're going to solve it by that. It's that type of thing there. And that's what's represented by that seven of swords, seven of swords, seven of wands there. They do see you as queen of, um, ah, okay. So that's where that's coming from. I feel like this person, this is not you. I feel like this is someone else. Yeah, this is someone else that there's confusion around. I feel like this person feels like this person is maybe stopping this or having some form of influence on you progressing forward or you moving forward. And that's where that tower is coming from. Maybe some information has come in. Something's come in. They've seen something. Someone's brought something to light for them. Um, but it's causing some form of confusion there. Yeah. With a choice that they're needing to make. But it's like, do I hold on to this? Do I let go of this? Don't think this person has expressed to you that they've either received some form of information or they've found out something. So for them, it's like, okay, do I hold on to this? Do I let go? Um, and they're like, no, I'm going to hold on to this because I'm drawn towards this person. I'm drawn towards my Taurus. But you're hesitant. I wouldn't say hesitant. Just not sure. Not ready. Not sure. However you want to put it. There's a... Yeah, it's... Although, yes, we do have the Queen... Sorry, the Ace of Wands. And, of course, the uh, the Pentacles there. There is still that, I feel like that being influenced by this person. So you're kind of wanting to maybe, for some of you, this is make them happy or you're kind of thinking to yourself, well, you know, I've been in this for a while with this person and, you know, they've been loyal, they've been stable in my life. Why shouldn't I move ahead? Why shouldn't I progress this? There's still parts of you that are unsure, though. Even though you might be making steps towards moving this forward, there's still parts of you that are unsure. So we're going to move into part two of the reading. We're going to get a fuller picture and see where this moves to and see what the next step is for both of you guys. So the link is in the description bar below for those that are interested. But as it stands, yeah, it's, it's, there's, there's, there's a choice. A choice, you know, it, it, it's like, do we move forward or do we not? We're at that point when it comes to this relationship, Taurus. Are we going to move forward? Are we going to actually turn something that we've been, that I've had in my life for a while into something more substantial, marriage, kids, whatever the case may be, or am I not? So let's, um, so other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week.